Hey guys, so here we have another enhancement, another enhancement uh, request. Um, here is the potential um, Sasquatch, and there's uh, maybe another one or two potentially here. And also, just now looking at this, I noticed something interesting here also, kind of a right chest muscle, uh, shoulder muscle there, kind of the right arm reaching over this direction. Um, you know, nose, mouth, eyes, etc. But the interesting thing and the good thing about this one is something which I hope um, we can see a lot of in the future is we have a comparison. Here we go. As you can see, as you can see, taken five days later, um, the comparison isn't perfect, as you can see. I think it's, judging by these white um, objects here, the, the, the camera, the comparison is, is taken too far um, to the right, slightly too far to the right. So the original uh, here would be uh, more to the left. Maybe not 100% proof, but still it's something. First, we'll take a look at this. Let's just uh, take a crop, a crop section here zoom in actually I won't zoom in I'll just bring it over here for now and as you can see this is the area in question uh, I've just move this down here I will put a uh, stroke on there there we go So here's the area. And to prove that it is the area, what I'll have to do is... It's quite difficult to see when it's uh, um, cropped so small like this. So I'm going to have to take the whole picture. Or we're going to have to look at the whole picture. And work out where the trees are. So this tree... So if we look at the first leaf, we'll look at the top. Let me just grab the comparison, bring it over here. So this this um, bush is this one, and this area is here, and this one is here. So maybe if I can enlarge that a little bit. So it's been taken with a, it looks like it's been taken with a different camera, so we're going to get a different um, perspective and a kind of a different angle also but basically that is that it's more or less uh, in the same area the same um, lining up the same and now if we look at it um, kind of horizontally we can see this so this is the area in question here, this dark area here, because we have this tree um, coming down here. So if we look at, um, if we take these trees here, for example, just take a crop here. So like I say, it's not going to be 100%. Um, this is this tree. And we have these trees coming down here as well. And this tree is this tree. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three here. And we have this uh, this bend here and this one. So we have the bend here and this other fork coming off here and the same fork coming off here. So we can see that it's um, approximately in the same um, alignment there 
so I'm so yeah so this is this area here is this area here so we're not really that far off really so again this dark area is you know obviously you need to think the, uh, about the lighting situation the uh, it seems like a different time of the day different lighting different colors and it's probably it seems like a different camera um, as well so different lens and um, yeah so this is what we're looking at which isn't which isn't in the comparison just here Um, yeah, it's not there. It's simple as that. We have this kind of grey, so, but this is just the bark, the bark coming off this tree, um, I believe. The tree, um, it kind of lines up with the tree here and going up. There we go from here, going up and then we have this tree gets thicker as it goes down and I think that might be the bark from the tree whereas this is clearly not bark it's clearly not coming from this tree it's something in front of the tree which, which isn't here anymore yeah so I'll take a closer look at that in a minute but um, also let's have a look at this oh, interesting um, thing here which should be here but now there's nothing here. Now, as you can see, this white object, this white reed here is moved to the left, which means um, the camera is more to the right. So this should be here in, in the original. So that means it could possibly be behind this area, but I cannot see anything here which would, which would resemble this um, figure. So that's a possibility that that could be something also. So let's just put that up here. Uh, maybe give it a bit of uh, brightness and the contrast. Fill in the highlights, I think. Yeah. Potentially something, especially since it's not there in the in the comparison. And the thing is, yeah, it, it also looks quite small, but that could be that it's juvenile, or it could be also that um, it's just the sometimes the see deceiving the distance. You know, when you look at it straight on, you know, it, it's hard to tell. I think. I was told that this is approximately the height of where, where this individual is, this, this figure is, is around four foot, but I'm guessing it would be more than that, maybe four to six, between four and six foot, that's why I put four and six there. And we, at the moment, I, I don't know how far away this is from, um, from the camera, so that could also be um, quite deceiving there. I know it looks quite small. So let's just um, close that one, hide that one for a second. Let's just delete that. It, as, it, as, it, as it's so small, we're not going to get many. We're not going to get much detail off this. We're not going to get much um, features or anything. So. We can see that it could be a possible ear there. We have the cone-shaped head. It could be light shining off the nose, the nose, the ridge of the nose. We have um, the brow ridge there, and some um, dark area where the mouth would be. Bearing in mind that this is going to be uh, blurred, this is distorted image. Um, it would be sharper, a sharper image. 
um, you know, if it was um, obviously a better camera. But I'll try and add some sharpness there, I don't know. Um, you know, sometimes it's just, it takes away the originality of the image. Sometimes when you do that, it adds kind of, if you look at this, this dark area here, when you add too much sharpness, it kind of distorts the image too much, which I don't like to do. Yeah, so as you can see also, this could possibly be something. And here also we have a kind of a nose and a eye. So, you know, usually where there's one, there's more. I would say 95% of the time with, uh, with Sasquatch. I will try to enhance this a bit more I don't know it's not much not much there to work with really <laughs> interesting how the light shines off the what would be the browries there so I cannot say obviously 100% what this is, I mean, whether it is a Sasquatch or some other animal or just nothing, you know, but it's interesting that it's not in, it's not in the, in the comparison. Nothing that would even resemble that. And we have what would be the right shoulder here, right shoulder in the back. So it could be that it's um, climbing a tree, or um, standing on a mound or some something. The so ground level would be around here. So this is a swamp. Uh, bearing in mind this is a swamp, so the ground level was probably around here. And it may go higher up as you go in there. We don't. We don't know. Let's just have a look around. Let's just um, brighten up this area. Shadows and highlights. You know, I had a researcher tell me the other day in Facebook that he uses, um, he doesn't use Photoshop, he uses some other program and then, and then um, was, I think three or four different programs, you know, and I I don't, I personally don't think you need more than one, um, you know, everyone's different, everyone has their own techniques and, and you know, but uh, yeah. Let's give it a bit of contrast. No, not seeing anything there that stands out. Nothing that stands alone. Okay guys, 